the end of 2017, I studied the national results of, of Namibia. And then I realized that Tsumkwe Secondary School was all the grade 10 as well as grade 12 schools rock bottom regarding their results. So on one Sunday morning, I drove to Tsumkwe just to familiarize myself with the situation. And luckily I met with the principal and this is more or less where everything started. And the day when he visited the school, we could see that the people want us to help them. The people there is, is so special and grateful and thankful for everything you do for them. His vision was also to reach out to the remote schools and Tsumkwe is very remote. So I think that's, that's where we started. Teaching is, is the mother of all professions in the world. And why must a learner in the rural areas be deprived from knowledge? There are so many aspects of what we are doing now. And, and the first thing that we have in mind is to give access to learners in the remote schools, to the world wide web. If we can change the life of one learner, it's fine, it's good. Last year we've also put the clever touch boards in. Then we put a camera, a sound system, a microphone. And for those schools where there's some electricity failures, we also put a system there to help us with it. There's so many different brain profiles. Not every learner learn in a specific way. The more platforms a learner can have, the better. And that's that's what we're trying to do with this, with this project. Currently, we've started with the initiative of Gondwana. We've started with grade one as well. But in those years, it was only grade 10 to 12 in those four science subjects. Mm -hmm. Later on, physical science become physics and chemistry now. Mm -hmm. um, so the grade 10 to 12 was our main focus. It goes on eh? and it shows pictures and that other stuff. Eh? In the class, just the, the smartphone isn't there and the board doesn't go on like and show pictures. Then I'll just come to the individual board and present what I want to, uh, what I want to understand and then uh, videos will be displayed on that specific topic and I'll understand better than what the teacher says. It's better to have to, um, other alternatives than to rely and be de independent. I depend on natural science. We use the smart board to come and search like our practicals. Sometimes we have practicals which are very hard and we have to use a smart board. You are teaching eclipses, so kids expect to see how is the Earth is rotating, for example, around the sun. You see, but so when you do it on, 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 on the smart board, so it's quite much helpful. It's very important because most of the time we get example from there. All the experiments and all the stuff, we don't have it at school. So it's more easier to, to see them on the board, on the clever touch. Because it, it have got internet, even if you get stuck, now you can easily go on the internet and show them that uh, look at this example, it's, it's, it's very effective. Uh, we wish we had more because all the teachers are fighting for this. <laughs> Everyone wants to use that class. Calling. Uh, nothing less, nothing more. That you can rest assured that your investment will definitely give dividends to the educational future of this country. Solutions, who are the exclusive distributor for Clever Touch Technologies throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, are very proud and honoured to be part of the EduVision project in Namibia. 
We are even more thrilled at the opportunity to have sponsored technology to where it all began. We hope that the sponsorship brings more change and inspires more teachers throughout the country. So this was a little bit different past from previous years. Um, look at this. I don't want theater. I just want ratios. Right, Chung Kui, thank you.